Right, okay, so we have our two gearbox shafts in place and uh, um, I didn't put any, anything else from the gearbox in, just the two, the two uh, shafts. Um, the, the shaft that drives the output shaft the, 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 and that driving shaft is driven by the, the, the crankshaft. Okay, so um, it's been clamped together with the two crankcase halves. I've clamped the crankcase in um, the, the, the workbench and I've put uh, my precision vise against the face of the driving shaft. Okay, and we're going to test the play, the movement in and out. And um, we must bring the, the, the shaft out to the, to the maximum and bring the vise in. We can use a hammer and we can tap it in, and, and you'll be able to get it so that it's just touching. And then you move the, the shaft back, and then you have a gap. Take your feeler gauges, which everybody uh, should have, or must have, you know, a set of feeler gauges. And um, you need to look in the workshop manual to see uh, the, the play, that's uh, the allowable play. Now, the, the, it doesn't give any, um, any tolerance. Um, it states that the end play of both shafts should be uh, 0.5 millimeters, half a millimeter, okay? And so it's gonna be in that, in that range. And um, what you can certainly do is you can set your, um, your feeler gauges to um, half a millimeter, which is 50. And you can slide it in and, uh, and see. Um, another good way is, would be to set, and I've got um, a 40 and a, and, uh, and, um, and a 15, to see whether or not the 40 and the 15 is, um, creates interference. That makes 40 and 15 is 55. And, um, that's fine. And we slide it in and you can feel straight away there's interference. And that means obviously you can go down to your 50, but you know that, 40, that, that, that 55 is, uh, is, too, is too much. And that, that it's a pretty good indication that you're that you just that you're in in uh, in, in the right ballpark. Now fifty, just you can just get it in. You know, obviously there's going to be some movement there, you, but you can feel something. It's half a mil. That's fine by me. You know, that's 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 the play. Um, we we're aware that uh, over time it might get get larger, but that's within the tolerance of the uh, of the manufacturers. And um, what 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 you, you can certainly repeat this for this for this same side. But actually, I can actually see that there's hardly any movement in. In the actual driving shaft, and so I know, me personally, I know that that's well within the half a millimeter. Um, but of course, you can you can repeat the same for for this size, for this side. Uh, the other way would be uh, fixing a dial test indicator, which is a gauge like this, and you would again you would you would fix it and um, you would set it with the shaft maximum in. And then you would move the shaft out and see how much it uh, adjusted the dial test indicator um, to, uh, to confirm whether or not you need additional shims within that shaft. You know, and um, uh, one end or the other or both ends. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, that's how you will test uh, the, the gearbox plate. It's great. Okay, that's good. Bye for now.